big big collection of favorites because it's been a few months since I've done a favorites and on top of that I've been getting a lot of shit I've been doing a lot of things so I have to show you guys everything so I guess let's just start let's just get into it without further ado Everything will be linked down below if you're interested in any of these products, any of these purchases, so you can find mostly everything down below. Some of it's through my Amazon, some of it's through my website, some of it is from other places, but I will try to link as many things as humanly possible down below for you guys. I had a couple things when I was in Mexico when we went to Tulum a couple weeks ago, and this is something I actually found at the airport. You guys know I'm obsessed with my Starbucks tumblers. I have like a whole freaking cupboard in my kitchen dedicated to my tumblers, um, but this one I haven't seen anywhere. It's matte black. I'm sure it was out somewhere at some point, but I seen it in Mexico and I was like, you're coming home with me. Uh, so yeah, this is matte black. It's super soft, super comfy. It does get a little bit like stained from fingerprints because it's matte. It's more like a like a suede type of material. I don't know. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. It's black. It's cute. It's comfy. It matches my black um, on the go. It just looks so good. It just looks so regal. Like, oh, she's prepared. This bitch knows what she's doing with her life, and I love it. Next up, while I'm on the topic of cups um, and drinkware, love 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 i've had these for a couple of years now these are my anthropology coupes i have four of these and i also have the red wine glasses the champagne glasses the white wine glasses the coupes though by far my favorite i make some beautiful cocktails in these with like flowers on top oh it's just so good it's just so beautiful i love a good coupe i love the design of this coupe it's just perfect depth ratio the gold rim the pink ombre bottom Everything about these cups from Anthropology is a win. Like, is a win. I want eight of each. I need to go buy more, but I'm obsessed. Buy these when they're on sale, though, because you can get them way better price when they're on sale. They're really expensive. I think they're like 28 to 32 depending on when you buy them throughout the year. So wait till they're on sale, because I promise you you're going to get a better deal. And these are just everything. It's dusty. Next up, I shared this in the what's in my bag video, but this is a current favorite of mine, mostly for the bottle wrapper, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is a spray from Bath and Body Works. It's a hand sanitizer spray. But when we were looking, my boyfriend seen this guy and you put your bottle in it and it keeps your bottle protected and looking cute. I need to clean it. It's dirty, but it resembles a calfskin leather grain. And it has the gold like detail at the top oh it's so cute it matches all my shit and it just looks super cute sophisticated love it so you don't have to look at the ugly bath and body works bottles i don't like their packaging at all so this much better thank you next up like i said if you know you know you know you know <laughs> these are some of my favorite colors from eye gel this color is winter white it's the perfect milk white bath color that you've ever seen if you were a tumbler girl you knew all about the milk bath nail um i love these for my pedicures um, because i'm not someone that likes to match my nails with my pedicure i don't know why it's just not never been my thing not into it so this guy right here winter white tangle pink from eye gel bomb these are like six dollars you get the gel version and the regular version like this it comes in the mail and you can take it to your nail tech or your pedicures whoever you want to go to give it to them it's more sanitary and then you have your your color your color that you love to use all the time and you never have to be like what's gonna match better what's gonna do this what is blah, blah, blah. they have a ton of colors too it's not just white and pink but my colors are white and pink so yeah go check those out next up a couple things my keychain um i went to louis vuitton last month and got this beautiful black leather and gold keychain actually my boyfriend got it for me but i'm obsessed with it it's so cute i've always wanted an lv keychain so i finally got one I feel super blessed it's adorable um and it goes perfectly with obviously all my keys but also my airpods i got the airpod pros last month as well i needed them for the trip to to loom so i could wear them on the plane um and i finally made the decision to upgrade from the regular ones like the regular og airpods 
to the pros and I really really like the pros so yeah current favorites pros and this LV keychain okay, this is the 10 year anniversary album I got it from Amazon I had ordered it in December and literally just got it last month vinyl are you kidding me girl so many memories are you <sighs> Nikki Nikki I love you I love you Nick um anyways so it's beautiful it's like it's just so it's literally history for me I love this like I'm getting so much nostalgia Roman's revenge is on here I'm the best is on here oh my god we all know save me is on here come on now it's my favorite I'm obsessed um and the I'm gonna actually get, show you guys the vinyls I don't want to scratch it but it's literally hot pink you guys it's literally hot pink just so many good vibes i love nikki so much so having this 10 year anniversary vinyl for my vinyl player i could not be happier and stepping into the fitness realm if you've been keeping up with my gym vlogs um i do a lot of workouts and i love to take a lot of my own equipment and my favorite equipment right now is bala Bala is so cute, so aesthetic, so pleasing, so just everything you would want in a brand as the it girl. I'm sorry. The Bala Beam, oh, so good. It's ridged perfectly, so you can use it for literally anything. You can use it for curls. You can use it for straight leg deadlifts, squats. I don't have it here. I'll insert a picture of it right here for you guys so you guys can see it, but it is so good. It's pink. They have nudes. They have blacks. They have different colors, but mine is pink, of course. <laughs> it's pink it's comfy it's like soft silicone oh just everything i could ever want in a product i love it um but they just came out with the bala system bands these are so cute as well this is the color that i have in the bala beam the bar and the um what other product do i have the ankle weights um i love this color this is like the easiest one but they also have a black and a nude that go up in some in resistance but are you kidding you guys their branding is just so cute i cannot wait to do my shoot with them um but these are just adorable and they have these awesome grips i don't know if you guys can see this but there's like these silicone grips right there so it will grip to your leg so it doesn't slide down bend chef's kiss they knew what they were doing with this and i'm so excited zoom we did a little bit of shopping in yucatan when we went over to the cenotes and i found this this was such a find you guys probably don't even know what it is from like this angle but it is a domino set this is an onyx slash marble domino set if you guys know me i am a marble onyx kind of girl i love 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 having game sets that are acrylic and marble. I don't know why, I just love the aesthetic. Um, and I play games a lot. I always have people over and I'm entertaining with games. So having this domino set that wasn't $100, $200 here in the US, this was literally, guess how much? Guess, $15. $15! Ah! If you guys want marble aesthetic stuff, go to mexico no one can compare um but yeah so it's a full ass domino set that's all um marble on the topic of tulum of course you need to wear sunscreen it is hot out there the sun is sunning the sun is doing what it needs to do it does its job trust me no days no hours off in tulum it's hot wear sunscreen i do not care if you're black if you're mixed if you're brown that is tired that is old you need to wear sunscreen girl you need to wear sunscreen. You can burn and you can get skin cancer. Wear your sunscreen. I don't care who told you what. We are not immune from the sun, okay? I do not care. This one, favorite sunscreen. Um, I took this on the trip. This is the Alba Botanica Hawaiian Sunscreen Coconut Clear Spray. It smells delicious. It's 50 spectrum. It just it just does what it needs to do. I This is actually the new bottle, but the other bottle didn't even get empty and we were wearing it every day. Did you wear that much of it? No? yeah a little bit yeah i was spraying this shit on me i was spraying it on me like i had no tomorrow and i don't even think it's half empty so very good value i got this from costco it came in the two bottle pack this one and the other one that i had girl everywhere everywhere except for your face on the topic of sunscreens if you don't keep up with my vlogs and you went didn't watch my tulum vlog girl go over there 
go over there right now because I already showed you guys this but I'm gonna show you guys again because it's my favorite um this is the color science this is the facial sunscreen I use my facialist recommended this to me and I I literally wish I could kiss her for this recommendation because I'm just like you are so right you were so right like best recommendation I've gotten all year um <laughs> this is color science this is the sun forgettable total protection face shield flex 50 SPF okay it's for all skin tones or it's for all skin types but this one specifically I have is for tan skin tones now I'm going to show you guys this yet again because you guys have to see this um this is a mineral sunscreen use mineral sunscreen it's better for you um but anyways so you apply this on right you guys see that right it's applied on Obviously, you do this on your face, but I just want to show you guys real quick. So, apply it on. Now, watch it kind of dissolve into my skin. It turns into a tan BB cream. Moment of silence. You don't even have to put makeup on over your sunscreen now. Are you kidding me? So, yeah. So, it turns and it just melts into the skin like so. I didn't even wear makeup on the trip. Like, I wore makeup, but I didn't wear foundation. I literally put this on and then I would put either, um, what would I use? I used the Rare Beauty, the bronzer sticks, the cream blush, and then I would pat in just a little bit of Laura Mercier so I didn't have like weird sweat marks. But if I really didn't feel like doing powder, I would just hold it all in with Morphe and I looked glowy, I looked beautiful, and my skin was protected. <sighs> this is a steal. I want to stock up on this for the rest of my life. Like, I never want to go without this product now that I know about it. Mexico favorites. Um, natural coils. I love you, girl. This is also from the creator of the Glamorous Bling Queen, who I did my bling straws with. She also created natural coils, which is for skin and hair. Oh, love her. This is the Ba Dazzle Body Cream and Shimmer. You guys, I've never looked better. I've never looked better. I don't know what scent this is. I forgot what scent she said it was but it's like it's all natural ingredients it's argan oil jojoba oil vitamin e oil castor oil sweet almond oil coconut oil neem oil apricot oil avocado oil coconut butter mango butter and african shea butter and then she mixes in a body shape safe shimmer i'm mad at her i'm mad at her because how are you going to make a product this good how are you going to make a product this good I don't know. I love you, Perry. I love you so much. But um, let's go ahead and look at this. This is, um, I don't know what the color this is. This is like her pinkish color. She made this for me for the trip because it's so good. It's so thick. But look at this, you guys. Like, it's such a natural, beautiful shimmer sheen to the body. Oh, my God. It's so good. Are you kidding me? And now I've used a lot a lot of shimmer products i've used the patrick ta shit complete utter garbage throw it away um i've used the rihanna's rihanna's it's okay but it's a dust and it dust gets everywhere it just gets messy um so i prefer an oil or a cream based shimmer um i've used the laura what is it, tom ford salted throw it all away throw it all away go to her website it's gonna be linked down below it smells absolutely divine like i've never smelt so good from all natural products like i don't know how she does it how she does the mix but literally you know when you use all natural products and it just smells musty not this not this she knows what she's doing i don't know how she made a product this good but i love her for it um beautiful shimmer if you don't want to look like you have a shift at eight sometimes i do i love a good sparkle body look okay sometimes i want to look like my shift starts in an hour but with this it's very subtle very beautiful looks like you're glowing from the inside out it's just radiating and i love it 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 oh, i love it so good anyways yes natural coils ba dazzle get it only must have but just traveling in general i found i really need this so because i shoot a lot i take a lot of pictures I don't wear a lot of accessories, but I'm trying to work on that. Um, the reason I bought this is because I wanted to make sure I was wearing a lot of accessories for the trip. Colorful, pops of color. Still don't wear as many as I wanted to, but definitely helped me to wear more. Was having these all in a on-the-go jewelry container. This has a little clip closure. You can put earrings up there. You can also take this out, and there's some space in the back for more products. Um, 
and then I have a ton of earrings and shit down here. This got really messy, but I wanted to share it with you because it's a perfect place. You can keep rings like you would a normal jewelry box and keep some necklaces in here, earrings up here. You're good to go. I loved it. It was such an easy, good find from Shein, actually. I think this was like five bucks from Shein. It took like a week and a half to get here, but if you order ahead of time, you are not going to be missing your accessories, especially while you're like, if you're like me, out traveling, trying to shoot. Perfect, small, easy, reliable. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Next up is my case and my on-the-go portable charger. These are matching. This is from the brand Berga, I believe. Yeah, Berga. Super cute. I ordered these around wintertime, actually. It took forever to get here. That was the only thing I hated about them. It was buy one, get one free, which was such a good deal. I could not pass it up, and they have such cute designs. So I literally got two cases for my <laughs> laptop, two cases for my phone, two cases for my iPad, but it took the longest to get here i don't know if it's because it was the holiday season or what so if you're ordering from them just beware it will take half of your lifespan to get it um but i love it once it came in i was like oh yeah it's worth it it's super cute um no fadings really happened on these products i really like it this stays charged i've had the worst luck with portable chargers this one actually stays charged just make sure you charge it all the way charge it overnight and then you're good to go for a couple days like on a trip key 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 especially traveling especially traveling if you're trying to take a lot of videos a lot of pictures you need a portable charger you just do so burger has some really good ones and they match cases so it just keeps everything looking a lot cuter another matching must have is the honey pot this is the cucumber aloe there has been a lot of controversy around honey pot recently um i I was kind of anti honey pot for a second i'm not gonna lie because as soon as i heard that they were changing the ingredients i was like no that's what we're not gonna do like i was so into it because it was organic brand it was all natural i just felt good using it i felt great using it even like i loved her brand i loved the vision i love that she was able to do that in target which is such a huge brand such a huge store company like it was just such a remarkable thing and being able to be part of that and like as a black girl and like see that and like oh, it's such a beautiful thing so it really did break my heart like in a sense i felt kind of betrayed that they were changing the product that you grew to fell in love with so that was what hurt me um i ended up giving it a second chance i'm like look like if it doesn't affect me if it doesn't hurt my skin because i'm very sensitive skin and plus it's a sensitive area you want to take care of your your vagina you don't want to put anything bad in there i'm such an advocate for healthy ph for healthy sex for everything like self-care for a woman with a vagina like it just makes sense like so for me as long as it wasn't affecting that i still had good results i still felt good using it i was going to understand it and i also did additional research about what was going into the products now so i could understand better like what i was actually going to be putting down there the pro changes they had to make and i don't have a problem with the changes i have my body reacts just the same if not better i have a better connection relationship to this product now actually um and i didn't think that was going to be the case so even though i wasn't a believer at first i got back on so cucumber aloe this flavor is immaculate you guys know if you can know if you've been following for a while i was a sensitive girl the blue bottle but i tried this recently and fell in love it smells so good i've never felt fresher down there i've never felt like more secure in like my my pheromones i guess i don't know i really love it that's such a random word but i love it it's still plant derived it is still healthy it's still has all of the natural things in there but it had to be shelf stable so they had to add those extra things in there so yeah and it keeps you a lot cleaner so if you are someone that i guess i don't know doesn't wipe on the toilet before you go into the shower it's going to keep you a lot safer from getting a lot of bacteria on you so it's a better product now for the fact that it needs to last better and longer and safer for your skin so yeah I love it, but this one, such a good smell. You should guys should go pick this up because it smells divine. Since we're on the topic of <laughs> beauty products, um, the next favorite of mine, I love Lush's body washes. No secret, I love them. Dirty Spring Water, or whatever they call that one, Sleepy Time, Rose, oh, so good. But this one I discovered this year, 
it's mimosa it wakes me up in the morning it smells literally like mimosa it's orange it's citrusy it's very awakening and i just am obsessed with it i need to get a bigger bottle than this if they still have it in stock but if you can get your hands on this it is literally the most like uplifting scent in the morning i just feel so alive and so awake especially after the gym in the morning and i shower with this it smells so good don't tell me anything else because it smells delicious and I, you guys know i'm a warm scent girl i love warm scents but this does it for me if i'm doing a cooler citrusy uplifting scent this one is it. next up necessaire i've talked about this i've had it in a couple of my self-care videos if you guys are interested in those go check them out it'll be in self-care videos health and wellness whatever necessaire body wash divine love it the body scrub again another hit body wash body lotion this took me a minute to get into because it's not as thick as I traditionally like it, but it actually works better. This is a lighter lotion, which I've had trouble with in the past because I feel like lighter lotions don't really dive deep enough into the skin. And I also feel like they're more oil based than a thicker lotion. No, no, no. This is light, but it penetrates very quickly, very well. I've never had softer skin and it's actually helped the um, appearance of my strawberry legs a little bit as well. Not as much as I would like, but that's not what this product is for, but it has helped. So I'm grateful for it nonetheless. <laughs> Next up, beautiful cuticle oil pen. Love my cuticle oil pens. These are great. I get them personally from my nail tech. She makes them, but you can buy them pretty much anywhere. Like a lot of people sell them now. Um, but yeah, you can buy these like even on Amazon, but this one has like actual jasmine in it and she like lets it sit and get infused for quite some time before she even sells them. So I love them and it keeps my nails, my hands from looking raggedy, keeps my nails looking clean and healthy and I'm just obsessed with it. I even put these on my toes. Perfect. It keeps your nails lasting longer and just looking fresh. of jasmine. So good. Oh my god. The Bloom Kombucha. This is called Bloom. It has elderflower, jasmine, and violet in it. It is so erythral. I love drinking this. I feel like a fairy in a meadow surrounded by flowers and just living her best little life. Like if I could get drunk off of this, I would. I love it. And it's also delicious with vegan ice cream. Kombucha float. If you haven't had one, don't knock it till you try it delicious vanilla vegan ice cream this kombucha also the watermelon if you were looking for a good old summer treat so good but yeah the jasmine is just so good in this i, I don't know i'm obsessed next up for you i did a collaboration with them and i love them i'm obsessed this is the awakened arousal oil with cbd it does exactly what it's gonna do it awakens you it arouses you it puts in the work okay you obviously put this in your intimate areas it is edible don't recommend it i'm not really an edible kind of girl when it comes to that time but you can eat this it's very safe all natural cbd it really helps open up all of those areas and helps you fill everything a little bit deeper this is such a cute bottle i love it so much it just feels so good on the skin too like oh, such a nice oil and i didn't break out from it which is always nice for me if I don't break out from something it's a hit like it's a hit I'm so sensitive when it comes to products oh but yeah so good you pair that with the bachi from Laura De Carlo I've talked about it you guys know about it you pair it with that you don't even need a man I'm sorry I love my boo but you don't even need a man you can do bad all by yourself baby a new cap um, to go to bed with and I like the traditional caps, but for some reason it's just like sleeping with it just gets really hard because it's all bundled right here. Literally all bundled right here. And I don't like that. It just gets too heavy for me to sleep in. So I like something that I can either like braid it and go to bed so that it flows out behind me or this. This, can't even remember the name of it. I feel so bad. I'm going to find it and list it down below. But um, this is beautiful. It's long. It literally cups like this. And then your hair is just long and it just lays. I only have to crimp it up a little bit at the ends. So comfortable. This in my bougie self-care routine video. I've never been more amazed 
by a sheet mask so soft so delicious it was so juicy i just loved every second of this mask you can get it from sephora they have different ones but this is the firming collagen one of course i got it because it's pink it looks cute by my sink i don't know why um i have to but it's intense care you punch a hole in this little pouch you put the pouch on your face it's really really thick beautiful luscious cream and then you put the mask over that it seeps deep penetrates looks beautiful love it great product last thing kaoli perfume you guys know i'm becoming a little perfume fiend i love perfume now i'm obsessed with it this one is the vanilla 28 when i tell you vanilla it's so good let's take a moment it's like the robust vanilla straight out of the like vanilla bottle oh. like when you know your grandma's made homemade vanilla so good like oh, so good i love it 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 if you are a warm scent girl you need this in your collection right now right now i love it so good that's all i have to say i ended up already drinking the white and i loved it so i had to share with you guys the rosé version of this before i dove into this one this one is fresh and fruity like i said it's rosé it's a french fizzy wine it's so good um the white wine if you get the white it's like a crisp i think it's called crisp and like something i don't know it's white it literally looks like this but it's the white wine um it's from trader joe's delicious of course if it's from trader joe's it's a hit completely 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 useless purchase it wasn't a useless purchase but i definitely didn't need to purchase it um but that's most of the things in my life cold gaia are you kidding are you kidding it's so good it's so good i bought this for mother's day to wear out on mother's day not for my mom for me to wear to her mother's day brunch <laughs> oh god okay anyways so it sits like this on your arm cool it sits like this perfect and you just like dangle it there it's actually really really comfy i love it um everyone's like oh my god is that oh my god is that oh my god so many compliments if you want to go out and get complimented you have to buy one of these bags i'm just telling you because so many questions so many compliments I love it next up the alchemist um i never read this i actually never read this in school so many people read this in school i never read it in school ah i wish i did um but i'm reading it now and i love it and it's so good and now i know why everyone's obsessed with it it is a book to be very much obsessed over i'm gonna have all of these like what is it called rabbit eared by the time i'm done reading it because it's so good year that i was obsessed with and it is a current favorite i'll probably read it a few times i'm not joking i'll probably read it two more times this year <sighs> for those of you who don't know i'm obsessed with russ i love russ i love his music i love i don't know why i don't know why just his energy really really resonates with me and it has ever since like fucking losing control five years ago love russ i love him um but yeah, so when he came out with this book, I was just like, oh, cool, like, whatever, a book, you know? So I finally got it, and I didn't put it down. I don't think I've ever really done that with a book. Probably only one other book in my life. I love it. It's such an easy read. I'm, I'm going to be honest. It's an easy-ass read. Um, so there's no reason to put it down. You could get it done definitely in a couple hours if you really wanted to. Um, but the thing is... It's just so good. It's so inspirational. I love Russ's mentality on everything. Like, it just really, really resonates with me. I don't know what else to say about it. It's really, really good. If you want something that's like an easy read, that's like, it should be common sense, but it's not. But it's just that like pick me up pep talk reminder type of book. This, it's like, it really just helped me like really pull myself together for 2022 and get it together and like really start like do this shit, stop, get out of your own head because the problems that I'm making are just that problems i'm making not real ass problems so just fucking deal with it and push past whatever you're thinking in your mind and do that shit hearing some of his stories are so funny too so yeah it's all in your head russ current favorite song is <laughs> cigarettes and alcohol by santano lee saint 
So good. Song Jack Harlow, like a blade of grass. Okay, tell me why. TV shows. Let's get into it. One of my favorites, Stranger Things. Just came out, volume two, coming out July 2nd or 1st or something. I don't know. I can't wait. The cinematography in this season, blowing my mind, first of all. The whole storyline is super good. Hate. I'm not going to do any spoilers. Um, actually, I don't hate anything. It's a very good season. Um, but I love it. Stranger Things, my second favorite show that I've been watching was Hacks. Hacks, I don't know if it's going to get picked back up. Someone needs to pick it up. Okay, I'm like, do I need to buy Netflix? Do I need to buy HBO? What needs to happen for Hacks to come back? Because Hacks is too good. It's too good. The fact that they ended season two like that, I was like, who are you so hurt so upset but anyways i love tax so yeah those are my current favorite tv shows okay last favorite because i forgot to show you guys is this guy it's a big guy oh bays this is the bays 29 luggage <laughs> okay so it is a favorite but i do have some concerns um so I got the cover that goes with this. This is like a, a cover. It's a plastic cover that covers this and keeps it safe. The cover did not work. Um, it ended up ripping in quite a few places on my first trip. I was so upset. So it scuffed up and really scratched up quite a few areas in the bays that now are black and I can't get out and it looks like shit. But I still really like the luggage. So I think I'm just going to get the black one to keep it from getting really gross. But um yeah i really like this because one it has like a weight protection here so it lets you know like right here i'll turn red if it's too heavy which was like i knew i was overweight when we went to tulum but yeah a lot overweight um next up it has the lock on it and then it just unlocks i would just recommend to get the black and it sucks because i really wanted to be a beige girl i really wanted to enjoy this color but it's really not functional um, for traveling because it just gets, it turns black anyways. You might as well just get black. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's that. Love it. 7 out of 10. It would be a 10 out of 10 if I had gotten it in black, but it's fine. Love it though. So yeah, those are all of my favorites, current favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this video is long, but I hope you guys took something from it. I hope you guys like what you guys seen. If you guys want to see anything or purchase anything, they're all going to be down below in the description bar. So yeah, go check that out if you want to purchase anything or just see more of what I was talking about. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful week. I will see you guys very soon. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, post notifications for when I do post a new video so you can be up to date on all my new shenanigans. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all down below in the bio so you guys can go follow me there if you guys want to see my pictures and all that fun random TikTok content that I be make too. I love you guys so so much. See you guys next time. Mwah. Bye! If you are trying to be a content creator or if you just need new products, new, reliable, good, easy to 